Yeah, milk is a risky uh, food for human consumption. As a pediatrician, I see on a daily basis children suffering uh, from conditions that are linked or associated to dairy consumption, such as eczema, acne, constipation, acid reflux, uh, iron deficiency, anemia. Cow's milk protein is the most allergenic food. People say, well, no, I want hormone-free, not injected with bovine growth hormone. But milk is this hormonal fluid, so it's just packed with sex hormones and natural sex steroid hormones like estrogen, progesterone. In fact, it doesn't matter if it's conventional milk, doesn't matter if it's organic milk. Milk without hormones, it's an oxymoron. Organic dairy has just as much saturated fat and cholesterol and galactose and all the things that you don't want as conventional dairy. Dairy products in general have a lot of other products associated with it, not the least of which is pus. I mean, they actually have laws limiting how much pus you can actually have in a milk and still sell it. I believe it's like 750,000 pus cells per cc. Because, I mean, you wouldn't want too much pus and it would be like pure pus, people might object. In fact, you could think of cheese as kind of coagulated cow pus, if you would. But I was always told that we need milk for strong bones. Researchers have studied bone development in kids and whether they get stress fractures and that kind of thing. And the kids who drink the most milk have zero protection. Milk does not build strong bones. Harvard researchers have looked at a large group of older women. Over an 18-year period, the milk drinkers had zero protection from fractures. So this old notion that somehow milk is going to build strong bones or protect your bones later in life, it's a myth. People that drink milk have higher rates of hip fractures, have more cancer, and live shorter lives. It turns out that countries with the highest dairy consumption also have the highest rates of osteoporosis. So clearly, drinking more milk doesn't protect your bones. Any animal protein boosts the level of IGF-1. Dairy products increases your risk for various forms of cancer, especially those related to your hormones. So breast cancer, prostate cancer, ovarian cancer. So this is not a product even in its most pure state you want to be consuming because it does come with risk. I found out that dairy can increase a man's chance of getting prostate cancer by 34%. And for women who've had breast cancer, just one serving of whole dairy a day can increase their chance of dying from the disease 49% and dying from anything 64%. Why weren't breast cancer sites like Susan G. Komen warning everyone about this? If they were wondering why you don't have a huge warning about the dangers of consuming dairy on a website when there's a direct link to breast cancer. There was a study published in the Journal of the National Cancer Institute that found out women consuming dairy who has had breast cancer increases their risk of dying of breast cancer 49%. Is wondering why it's not on your website? We cannot answer these types of questions. Once again, another health organization rep saying someone else would have to answer my question. They didn't want to answer my questions in person either and told us to stop filming. It turns out that the casein protein that's the main protein in dairy products, and particularly in cheese. It breaks apart in the human digestion to create what are called casomorphins, casein-derived morphine-like compounds that go to the brain and they attach to the very same receptor that heroin attaches to. Don't get me wrong, they're not as strong as that, but they are strong enough to make you come back again and again and again, despite the fact that you're gaining weight, you're more unhealthy than you've ever been, but that cheese just calls out to people. Case of morphine uh, may play a role in SIDS and sudden infant death syndrome, may play a role in autism. This is one of the reasons why we don't want infants drinking milk from